I guess I can talk about this tea. I, I like tea. I like tea a lot. Hi. These are some things. Slowly creeps outward to hunt enemies, dealing damage along the way. Fun. Attacks me blind enemies. Attacks chase enemies. That's necessary. I guess I'll grab Burst Collar. Uh, let's see, I've still got 25. I guess I'll grab the Courtyard Key. I don't know if it's worth it, though. Unless the Courtyard Key is... No, it's probably not here. Courtyard Key probably just gets us into the green area. Yeah, so I, I can skip the first level if I want to. I don't know if I want to, though. Because the, the power boost... Wait, how am I hurt? Also, that boiler has a lock on it. Interesting. Okay. Well, let's do at least another run or two along the way. Oh, let's see. But yeah, so tea. I like I like drinking tea. It's probably one of my favorite beverages. I find juice tends to be too sweet. Uh, absolutely feral kibble. Juice is too sweet. Most alcohol just really does not do it for me. Wow, feral kibble is... nuts. I never, like, really paid attention to that damage, but it is oomphy. Let's see. So what, are, what was I going to say? Right, tea. Uh, so usually I would drink, like, English breakfast with, like, cream and sugar. I actually need this. Hey, wait, why do I have five health? Because I know I, incre I increased my maximum health by one earlier with the shop, but I shouldn't be up to five. I don't know. I I don't get it. I will be perfectly happy with five max health, though, because that means this run's going to go longer. Probably. We'll see. Ah, yeah. Come on, camera. Work with me here. It, like, kind of follows you, but not quite sometimes. Uh, let's see, do we got anything else? I don't think so, so let's just get out of here. Uh, let's see, just got home from your first evening out since autumn temperatures arrived. How are you? I have been a complete homebody. Uh, Shell hopped on a plane yesterday, and I'll talk about tea later when I can get it on my brain. I don't know. I've just been drinking the, like, Arizona ginseng and honey tea. This is not sponsored by it. I just suck this stuff down, probably in too large quantities, but it's nice. I don't know, I should, I should actually, like, make iced tea of my own frequently, but time... Anyway, so, we're talking about my day and stuff. It's been super rainy here, that's kind of what I bought into when I moved to Portland. Um, and I've totally, like, accepted the fact that it is going to be... Uh, let's see. I've totally accepted that it is going to be really rainy around here. Uh, so last week we went on a really nice hike, but ever since it's been pretty dreary. Which means I haven't really had a whole lot of compunction to go outside. I should probably start doing so, uh, just so I can actually like go to the gym over the course of the winter or something, but meh. Okay, what do, you, what do you have? So we don't- oh, crumbly kibbles. Attack split when hitting enemies. <gasps> Okay, the split seems incredible. I wish it also did that with projectiles. Maybe it, maybe it will. We'll see. Also, I wish the uh, I wish this circle. Can I can I turn that off in the options? I'm gonna turn aim assist on for a bit. Oh right, aim assist is still br busted. I tried secretly turning this on in the PAX demo to see what it would do, and the answer is it don't. Okay, not worth it. Maybe? I mean, it's definitely one shot, one kill. The problem is... I almost feel like this cat should have the, uh, the camera zoom out. Accordingly. That actually would be the smart way to do this. Because, yeah, what's the point of a sniper cat if you actually can't see anything far away? Ish. Uh, let's see, does Wanda like rainy days? I love rainy days. Rainy days are kind of the best. I feel guilty when it's rainy, though, because it's like, man, I should get out and actually do something. 
And the answer is, I can't. I mean, I can. Uh, I do have the car. Shell, Shell left it here, obviously. She flew to New York. Okay, so I can't get crumbly cables, so we're gonna have to wait on that one. I guess I'll grab the, uh, the just attack speed increase for the time, time being. But yeah, I... I don't know. Otherwise, my day has just been kind of quiet, just sitting around. I was invited to go to karaoke with my friends, which is starting in about an hour, but I don't think I'm gonna go, just because without Shell, karaoke is kind of meaningless for me, which I feel guilty about. I... The only reason why I would go is because I want to be a social person, but I don't like singing. Uh, I got too much uh, kid baggage, I guess, uh, to care for it as much. And so, uh, so like, Shell really loves karaoke and so on and so forth, but like, I wouldn't generally go out of my way for it on my own. And I've also, it would require me driving, and I don't drive. I really do not like driving. I will drive if I have to, but otherwise, like, I generally try and av avoid it. So if it's like a social event I'm not super keen on, I'll just stay home. <laughs> I am just stuck on that trash bag. I'm like, sure, there would actually be, like, a large group of other people doing karaoke, but I'd just be awkwardly sitting on the couch being like, Oh, no, I'm not gonna sing. I'm just- I'm just here to watch you sing, which I'm sure nobody would care. Tax moves slow to fast. That'll be fun. Ow, ow, ow. Awkward- awkward positioning. There we go. Yeah, slow to fast is good, because it's actually- it's also a range up. I think. I think it's a range up. Okay. But yeah, it's also one of those where it's like, I have a lot of work to do always. And so like going out is always just kind of this weird, weird mild inconvenience. So some days I'm just gonna be like, ah oh, man, I'd love to hang out with people. But I'm going to be an absolute like homebody anyway. I think I also just need to organize more of my own social events instead of, like, relying on other people to do stuff. I've been very shy for the last year or so, uh, which is mostly my fault. Uh, let's see. You know what? Let's grab Catbox. Oh, I should have checked with Catbox to see if the, uh, AOE for it got, uh... If the AOE for Catbox gets bigger, if your shots get bigger. That's an interesting question. Uh, let's see, let's... yep. I don't actually know if these... yeah, they do have hearts in them. Good. You know what? Here's a counterbalance. Maybe picking up hearts if you already have hearts, uh, it just gets converted into kibble. I think that actually would be a, a good way of doing it. Just one heart is equal to one kibble. So if you have a spare heart lying around, it doesn't feel wasted. And it's kind of the trade-off of, do you just pick it up now, or do you wait a little bit? Okay, so my damage is pretty good. I don't think we're going to kill him as quick. Oh, right. Cat in the box. Okay. Just going to focus on that. Unfortunately... Cat in a box is... So do we... I still don't really know what King's Heart does. It's pretty dang rad. Maybe? I don't know. Well, let's keep going. Uh, let's see. So I've got not a whole lot of kibble. I don't want to go down immediately. I don't know why the level design does that. Because it's just like, hey, you just started this level. Here's another one if you want to keep going down. I guess it's probably for speedrunners. Why did I pick that up? I kind of... I'm absolutely going to need that. Okay, so I actually have enough range that I can shoot some of these enemies outside of... Okay. 
uh, outside of their detection radius, which is awesome. Is there no way to check what it does? Nope, not as far as I know. That hedge needs a little bit more shading because it actually has, like, collision... Eh, maybe not, I don't know. Okay, attack in short bursts or 16 kibble. Let's try the burst collar. It might not be a good idea. Oh no, it's good. Because it's actually an attack up. Or an attack speed up. With some games, burst fire means like a, a longer delay between attacks. In this one, it doesn't seem to have that in the slightest. Okay, so we got a decent amount of kibble. I think we're good. Let's... Let's be pleased with our build so far. I don't know. Am I just running around murdering random creatures and stealing their souls? I mean, technically they're ghosts that took over the mansion, and I'm not even killing them. I'm just making them go away. But yes, you are de facto correct. I'm re-murdering people because they decided to haunt my grandma's giant magical mansion. Yeah, you'd assume the King's Heart would actually be a temporary max HP buff. Doesn't seem to be, though. Come on. There we go. I'm just trying to snipe them out before they notice me. I guess this area is where the, uh... This area is where the, the seed spitter might actually work. The areas are... Wow. I just can't hit that guy. Well, luckily I've got enough range that I can pretty much just... Oh, it is still coming for me. I want that kibble, but it's in my way. Ah. Laying rest of spirits to rest. I don't know, maybe they don't want to rest. Maybe they like just farting around in Grandma's weird garden. You gotta imagine, with a lady that this old, this whole garden is probably almost entirely... Okay. Attack it in inaccurate bursts. Attacks may poison enemies. Attacks increase in size. Cone of Shade would be interesting, but I do enough damage, so I'm not really sure if it's worth it. I think I'll do the inaccurate bursts. Maybe. I don't know if it's worth it, but we already do burst fire anyway, so... Okay. I'm not getting anything out of that. I just know the attack and the inaccurate burst thing, I think, is a really considerable, like, attack speed up. And I'm curious how it combos with everything else. Like, sure, it might not be, uh, meta, but I'm more interested in other things. Hello. It's slower. Okay, so... This has homing. Oh. Oh. Oh boy. Okay, this is gonna be pretty good. Uh, let's see, I need a little bit more kibble. Hopefully we get it, because attacking in an inaccurate burst pretty much is going to mean nothing here. I can sidewinder around gravestones with this. Oh, am I going to be one kibble short? Oh, I'm gonna be one kibble short. I'll be fine. But this is why that health to kibble conversion would be so nice. I mean, it's okay. I'll I'll be okay. I'll just be somewhat upset. Because, yeah, Big Donut's not that helpful. I guess I'm going to grab the Cone of Shame because it's dirt cheap. And 
yes, the staircase was over here. We At least this game does not have wall gold for people to shout at me for. Probably get other stuff. Ow. Okay. But yeah, awesome thing is, this is also a, a very considerable range bonus. Aha! I know I could get it. Okay, and I can't fit, fit between this stump and everything else, but that's okay. It's like a very light micro lag sometimes when I'm shooting. Not even that light, actually. It looks like the more powerful your attack is, the more likely it is to kind of low-key freak out when you hit somebody. Okay, so what mystical, magical, crazy power-ups can I get? Oh, well, that's kind of nice. All attacks are larger. Attacks pass through... These are really good. Uh, let's just see what I get. Nope. Uh, let's see. At least we could uh, upgrade. Yeah, it is. It is actually like hitching kind of hard as a result of this. It's probably the screen shake, not quite knowing what what's going on. Yeah, hopefully we can get passed through an inaccurate burst, because. That might mean we just have, like, buzzing hornets as a build. Which sounds like it would be amazing. What do you got for me? Well... I'll take the three kibble because I already have the cone of shame. Okay. Yeah, three doesn't feel very good. Effectively, you get half the cost of... Oh, those poison symbols don't go away. That's okay. Oh, we do not. We do not want this sucker. Okay, do I have enough? I don't have quite enough yet. But yeah, those poison symbols just kind of last. Big deal. Uh, let's see. I don't need health yet. I'm not going to mistakenly open that up. I've done that. Okay, now I need health. I didn't even see the shot flying at me. It's probably from behind the trees. Okay, so now now we can avoid me. I wonder if it's one of those where I'd actually uh, avoid some of the the hitching. If I actually restarted the game somewhat periodically. Might work on that. Poisoning the well. Look, Grandma never comes out here anyway. Now, it, this might be hard on the, the crops, but I'm not even sure who's in charge of growing said crops. So, you know what, whatever. We're lucky it'll just poison the ghosts. Well, I guess that's the in intended purpose. Uh, whatever, it doesn't matter. We're just... We're just getting out of here. Are these all supposed to be for, like, apiaries? Or... I actually don't know what... I don't know nearly enough about gardening, apparently. <laughs> nope. No health. But that's fine. Oh. Okay, we got it. It just, like, instantly... Uh... Alright, this is going to be exciting. I'm probably gonna get wrecked by Big Bird again just because that's how this game works, but that's okay. All right, so I got super homing lasers, and I'm feeling pretty good about myself. Let's just... Let's just try again. I like this cat. Probably my favorite cat. We'll have to see what other cats are available to. Well, a home in on the cages, it might. Okay, is it big bird time? It is big bird time. Maybe the pass-through wasn't as useful, but that's okay.
Okay, so on the plus side, I can just get kind of keep moving perpetually. Wait, I got hit by something? I don't even know what. Ow. Ow. What the hell kind of frogger bullshit is this? Wow. Okay. That was rough. I That was a great build. Unfortunately, I didn't get to use it against any regular enemies. I think Big Bird might be a little bit overtuned. I think the main thing is just Big Bird does not have a whole lot of openings, even with pure super homing high damage shots. We only managed to take off a little bit. Admittedly, I got hit by a lot of stuff, some of which I have no idea what I even... Like, I might actually have to go back when I'm editing this and, and take a look at the footage and see, like, what did hit me there? Because I don't actually know. Ah. Uh, I checked. Nothing. Oh. I just got hit by, like, okay, well, that's fine. I will just keep an eye on it. But I'm sure this is kind of like in Hades. Uh, yeah, there, there was also a lot of stuff in the air there. But I think this is going to be like Hades, where Big Bird is just going to be insanely difficult for a very long period of time. Because Big Bird is the end of content currently available. And so by overtuning it, they can effectively put, like, a, a progress wall and say, like, hey... You know, if you can beat this, awesome. You you beat, like, a kind of busted thing. Tax move like a wave. Tax pass through enemies. Uh, let's see. A lot of attack and short burst related things. Well, might as well. I love these upgrades. I'm looking forward to seeing what else there is. Uh, I'll want to pick up uh, Ghost Cat data next time. But, uh, but, yeah, so by having... Big Bird is this, like, vertical wall of progress. It effectively makes it so you have more of a reason to keep playing the early access version. As compared to, like, uh, what I had to do in, in uh, Hellriser yesterday, where I just beat the second boss in the first try, and then it's just like, Hey, you're done! You know, see you when we add more bosses! And then I'm like, well, I guess I'm done! So, this is probably a smarter way to do it, but also... Oh, it's going to be a tough wall to climb over if I do want to actually beat Big Bird and keep playing. I'll probably keep playing for at least a couple more runs here and there. Uh, just because this is actually a really solid roguelike. It's got a long way to go, but as far as like an early access basis, this is probably one of my favorites. Like I was trying to say in the very beginning of the first episode, upgrades matter. And so many roguelikes get this wrong, you know, it's like, you do slightly more damage, you shoot slightly faster, and it's like, okay, that's fine, but what about the Fousey? What about just fart spread shot? What about super homing shot? All that stuff. Like, it's so much fun having all of these cool upgrades that you can get along the way that really change one build from the next. Every run I've done so far has had a different defining build to it that stands out. And for me, that matters a lot because I actually feel like every run was interesting and different, as opposed to, like, uh, let's go with Undermine. Love the game. It's got such a solid base. Probably a more solid base than this one, but it's inherently boring after the fifth run. You know, once you've beat the the last boss once, it's like, alright, now I'm just grinding for bonus, bonus uh, stats and nothing more. And in this one, we kept unlocking new little upgrade perks that it's like, oh, that might be kind of fun to play around with. I can't wait to try them out. And so that's kind of where I am right now. So hopefully this is one of those games that actually gets, like, some uh, content patches in uh, a short period of time so we, we can actually play around some more. Sorry, I am, like, mildly hiccupy? I don't know. Anyway, so really positive about this so far. We're definitely going to do at least a couple more runs. Maybe I'll start tomorrow off with some more Cat Lady or something like that, or I'll mix it in somewhere. Uh, but I like this one. And I think it's only like 10 bucks too. So if you like roguelikes, like this is a pretty good sort of starter roguelike, sort of just like, eh, you like Isaac, you want something slightly different, and it's got some wild combos. Yeah, you'll probably like this one. And that's a good thing. Freaking Marshmallow. I gotta learn how to use him. I wonder if increasing attack size increases his explosion, too. Because that could actually work really well. I'd actually like to see a couple of upgrades that specifically only show up if, say, you have Marshmallow picked up. And, you know, change how he works. So maybe 
uh, secondary like shock waves or explosions or make him home in. Actually, I wonder if I wonder if he homes in if you get the homing shot upgrade. I don't know, but it would be kind of neat to see a couple of like just a small handful of specialized upgrades for each of the secondary characters as well and primary, just to make them have some variance, even though though they already do. Or just keep generally upgrading. I don't know. The possibilities are are endless. And so for now, thanks for watching. I'm gonna go try another game. And then we'll come back to this in a day or two.